Hi, I'm Ken Sanders, and this is a special edition of the Ammo Can Library. I'm sitting here on a beach in the Grand Canyon, just below Lava Falls. With the help of my producer, Rebel Girl, tonight we're going to bring you a completely unscripted edition live from the Grand Canyon of Ammo Can Library. I've brought a lot of books, my favorite read alouds. And tonight, I've spent my entire life trying to crack the Gertrude Stein code. Anyone that's ever read her, I think, would have some sympathy uh, for me. But I think this wonderful little book, uh, Gertrude Stein's America, Your Native Land is Your Native Land. It certainly is. This particular uh, book is made up of uh, Ms. Stein's Travels in America with Al Alice B. Uh, Toklas in I think the 1930s. It was her very last visit back to her native country before she returned to Paris where she was an expatriate American for, for most of her life. What is the United States of America? It is not a country surrounded by a wall or not as well by an ocean. In short, the United States of America is not surrounded. In America, they want to make everything something anybody can see by looking. This is very interesting. That is the reason there are no fences in between, no walls to hide anything, no curtains to cover anything. And the cinema, they can make anything, be anything anybody can see by looking. That is the way it is. The wooden houses of America excited me as nothing else in America excited me. The skyscrapers and the streets, of course, and everybody knowing you, of course, but not like the wooden houses everywhere. I never stopped being excited by the wooden houses of America. I liked them all, almost best. I liked those near the railway stations, old ones, not very old once, but still old ones, with long, flat, wooden surfaces, painted sometimes and sometimes not. I've always wanted to write about how one state differs from another. It, it is so strange. The lines are ruled lines on paper. I never stop having pleasure in the way the ruled lines separate one state from another. Ohio from Indiana, Kansas from Nebraska, Tennessee from Alabama. It always gives me a, a shock of pleasure the American map and its straight lines and compare it to any other with the way they go all over nothing neat and clean like the maps of America. And finally, I liked going over the Salt Lake region the best. It was like going over the bottom of the ocean without any water in it. And I was very satisfied with it. After all, it is nice to know the difference between the ocean with water and the ocean without water in it. After all, it is a satisfaction to know that an ocean is interesting even if there is no water in it. This is what I like about America. It is interesting even if there is no water in the ocean of it. As someone whom Alice Toklas used to know, used to say, Lizzie, you do know, Lizzie, what I mean. But it was what I liked. And then the barrier at the end of it. And then the ranges, the high ranges for the cattle. They always tell about that in the stories of the cowboys. And then gradually, getting down lower. There was not much grass there. But then, America, after all, is just as interesting with no water or too much water or no ocean or no grass there. That is what I liked about America. It's a blessing to be here 
down in the depths of the Grand Canyon with the walls towering over a mile high above us. I wish you all could be here with me to discover and explore and just feel the uh, healing powers of this place and float by four billion year old Vishnu schist. That never gets old, let me tell you. Thanks for watching.